Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to All the Mod 7 to the Sky. I am so excited about today's episode. I think it's going to be really cool when we're done, because we're going to rebuild the island. And if you look on the mini-map, oh, let me just open the map, you guys see a lot of things have changed. It looks completely different. Um, and there it is. This is what it looks like. Let me go in first person so I can point at things. I made four much bigger rooms, and... Then I sat down for a minute, trying to figure out what blocks will make my life easier. What can I automate so I don't need to spend a lot of time? And you guys see white, that's concrete, and the dark is seared stone. Because I can easily automate this with everything that we're getting from the setup that we did last time. The gravel, the sand, and the dust, right? Everything is for free. And I also got the clay maker. Uh, where is it? Right there. Um, so yeah. That's that's what it looks like. And I moved the Twilight Force portal to over here and I prepared the nether portal because we're probably going to peek in there later today. But I really want to move this setup today into this room. This is going to be our sieving automation room plus lava generation. And then I also want to set it up so I can easily make soul sand, nether rack, and even end stone um, and set up a fourth hammer for that and a fourth sieve so that's going to be like semi-automatic because um, when you look at the recipes for netherrack we can make this but it costs a redstone each and once we're in the nether i you know i vein mine for two minutes and i have 10 stacks that's a waste of redstone but later on for example with uh, right here, Botania, we can double it. Just automatic, right? So that would be something. And Endstone is similar. You get it from Glowstone Dust. You get one. It's kind of weird. It's because there's Igneous Extruder, and it shows a Glowstone Block and Witch Water. Um, so I, I don't know whoever would do this if you have this recipe, right? You don't need the Witch Water. And I'm not sure how this works. Maybe this was like a catalyst. I'm I'm not maybe if this is only a catalyst, then this one is cheaper, yes. But it doesn't matter. We're gonna set something up for that. Okay. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna break it from a little bit higher because some of these parts are probably gonna land on top here. Really? Get up there. Yep, yeah, like I said. Yeah. So that way I can get my scaffolding back because I'm stingy. And now we can Unbelievable, right? And I should have 31, 32. Good, perfect. All right, so this is what it looks like. This is what each room looks like. And I went with a simple design, but it feels better. I'm not going to put a ceiling on. I don't see any reason to do that. And on top is half slabs. And then right here, these glass panes, these orange ones, I made with uh, the thing right here, the glass blower table. You just put the glass panes in here, select it just like, you know, we did with the cobble right there. And I went to the Twilight Forest and found an orange uh, botanica, botan bleh, botania flower. And this is how I get my orange dye. So I don't need to waste any any other time, right? It's just too simple. It's it's crazy not to use that. Um, where did I put my... Right there. Let me get a potato. And there's a little project chest. You guys see, it. I put the centrifuge in here. Do not forget that we're going to set that up too. So again, over here, I want to set up lava production. And I made these things for it. The superheating elements, like you guys told me. And this is by far the fastest, 60 times. The next highest, I think, is... Wait. Um, I think it's under recipe? No. Usage? Where did I see... Oh, there we go. Heat sources. 60 and if you check on the crucible itself recipe no usage um heat sources the next fastest is 20 times which was uranium blocks okay dark matter block is faster 100 times i did not see this one but yeah 60 times that is insane how fast we're gonna make lava like nothing which is perfect then then this brings me also to how did i make all the concrete well White, I have no shortage. You guys are going to see how much bone meal I have. Um, but 
I made this little automatic. You know how how it's a um, concrete sand or whatever it's called, and you need to turn it into concrete. So I made this factory block placer. I just put them in here. It places it in this flowing water. It's one above, so it flows down. And then this is a small block breaker. Neither one. You can speed them up if you give them R RF. And then just the hopper picks it up and it goes in here. And I really don't need that much. This one of these platforms. It's I don't know. I think. What is this like? Four, four and a half stacks, I think. Five stacks, maybe. So it, it's really not bad to make this. And I started preparing. I did a lot, a lot of off-camera work, just planning and planning because I wanna, I wanna set this up really nice today. And I made a bunch of compacting drawers. Went through everything that we can make so far, and then added some extra ones for possible things that we're gonna get from Netherrack and Soul Sand or when we upgrade to diamond and then emerald and then netherite sieve, um, the meshes, right? We get more stuff, extra stuff. So all of these things, I just tested what can be compacted. And these, for example, on ingots, I just put them in here and you have to start with the nugget. If you press with the ingot right there, it puts it in the first field, then makes a block and then a compressed block. But later on, when we have AE, I want to have access to the nuggets directly, right? Um, and other things here you see, it all goes to compressed blocks, so we're going to be able to store a lot of this stuff. Unfortunately, nothing with flint. Um, how much can this hold? So yeah, this is going to be full again, so I'm going to need to make a, a void upgrade. Eventually, all of these are going to have void upgrades. And then I left a channel over here where we're going to run the XNet cable through. To this right here, this is going to be my storage and manual crafting room. So meaning like on this wall over here, for example, I'm going to have all the mechanism machines. And then maybe over here, I'm going to have a bunch of IC2 machines and then maybe thermal expansion or industrial foregoing, you know, whatever comes down the line. This is going to be our main crafting room. And I set up the, the drawers that we had right over there, over here. So when I have a lot of stuff to store, like mob drops are going to come in here, Everything that's going to be automated is going to go into drawers, and every one of them is going to be voided, right? Okay, I think, yes. Oh, and then over here, I made another casting basin, made this another, I think, two higher, yes. And because this way, it's easier to make the seared stone. Um, you just have to make the grout instead of just putting cobble in because I don't have the high enough heat source. Um, and Linda told me you can make it just from grout. And grout, again, is super easy to make. I put some stacks of dust in here. Boom. It's this thinking about it, spending a little bit of time figuring out what blocks you can easily make while AFKing was worth it. Now let me show you the spoils of what I've got. Now, I want to show you something else here. This is now a... It doesn't have that thing in here anymore. You guys remember that wireless power? Because I stumbled across this upgrade here, factory. I'm like, hmm, converts the furnace into a factory. Let's see, right? And cheap to make, piece of cake. And it made it into a four, four slots. Um, so this is really cool. And then you just directly are powered it with RF, right? Instead of that wireless. And then I made another one right there. Because if I need to make glass, you just put it in here. It is so fast. This is ridiculous. Anyway, okay, so, but let me show you the spoils now. Let's start on the top. And the next one. And the next one. And I took out a bunch of materials already, guys. And it's all the way down here. Now, something I noticed, like, here. I'm like, why are the diamonds down here if this is not a full stack yet? And I figured it out because before the next diamond came in that couldn't stack anymore, this chest filled up, right? So because it's trying to get the diamond to go here, but there is no diamond, it can put it there so it can't go up to the last one. That's why some of the things you see up here are not full stacks, right? So it's not the pipe's fault, it's just logic that there's nothing that the system can do. But yeah, look at the amount of materials that we have. So now, um, in order to... In order to move all this, I need the sieves and all this to be empty, right? So my thinking here is that we're going to go... This one inserts cobble into the first one. 
So we are going to disable this channel and we're going to disable this channel. So it stops making new uh, gravel, sand, and dust. And then we're also going to disconnect the sieves here. Yes. Disconnect those. So there's no more inserting in those. But I do want to continue pulling out from them until they're empty. So now if we check the sieves. Right there. Nah, not the sieves. The hammer should still go. You guys see it's not filling them up anymore. And then right here's the sieves. And by the way, I put one upgrade into each one of them just to speed it up a little bit. And it does, it does, because now we're getting two items processed at a time instead of one. So, and I have the power for that. So now once this is empty, you know, I can easily move all this stuff. Okay, because we just set this up, I just did it real quick, and it looks super neat. I like this. Cobble gen, drawer, pushing into the crucibles, and in the front, sucking out into this tank. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab all of these other machines here, the sifters and all that, and figure out a way to be able to dress this up nicely. So these are empty now. Are the hammers empty? That doesn't... What? What's going on here? Oh, it's because this is full. That's why, alright, these two are empty. And I guess I just need to empty this and throw this cobble away. It doesn't really matter. Okay, but anyway, so I'm going to take these. I need to make another one of them real quick. The flux hammers and the sieves. So I can set that up as well. And the compactors, I shouldn't need more. I, I don't think so. The same with the macerators and the, the furnace. And I'm going to lay them out over here so kind of before I, I cover it up, right? Um, I don't know against which wall. And this makes cobble definitely fast enough so I can run this pipe around to the first one. So yeah, I think that over here we're going to put the hammers in a nice layout. And then maybe over here put the sieves or maybe, I don't know. I'll I'll play around with it. How's that? One other thing I forgot to mention is that I forgot to twice to light up properly when I started extending the space. Uh, the space because underneath now um, I didn't mention this either. Air dark oak slabs everywhere. So if I break holes, nothing can. I cannot lose anything else again. This wind turbine uh, mishap kind of taught me that I need to be more careful. But I'm still getting close to the edge hit points right when I work. And, but anyway, so I'm, I want to make a magnet and I wanted you guys to know where I got this ender pearl from. And you guys see there's a bunch of mop drops in here. I even got this here. I, it, it was night and all of a sudden there was just a, a thunder, Im, uh, a lightning impact, right? And then there was a blue beam right over here. And I'm like, what is going on? And then there was this glowing zombie, like an enchanted zombie. And I just threw down blocks, um... So it couldn't hit me, and I just stood inside and just threw a block and just killed it with my axe. And that dropped these pants here. I, I don't know if they're any good or not. And then I also got a shield, and I got all of these other random uh, gobbledygooks here. This thing was also uh, dropped by that big mob. Anyway, we're going to use this one ender pearl now. Because we're going to make this thing here. Boom, we're going to magnet. And I think shift right click and then you can right click it. No. Um, but it goes into the bobble slot, it says. Right? Didn't it say that? Slot charm. What's a charm? There we go. Nice, so it's not in my inventory. And now if I break something five blocks away, it goes straight. It's super fast too. Wow. Okay. All right, and I am going to light this up while I work. I learned my lesson. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, I just remove the pipes. I'm going to actually move all of this over to there first. And this is where the magnet comes in as well. Let's risk it. Why not? Let's have fun. Boom. 
and the rest should all be at my feet. Look at this mess. Oh, don't do this on the server, please. <laughs> and yes, I got it hooked up, so I can just come over to the dro uh, controller. Oh, and I gotta click really fast and get all of this in here, because if I had an empty hand, it will... Well, this is how I do it. It's just gonna empty my feet slowly. So I just did a test here. I, I thought to remember that you cannot have multiple controllers, and it says here too many controls in a network, because the way I've planned it, I need more channels. And there is a router that says, with this blocking, could connect multiple channels, controllers. But I need another Ender Pearl for that. So, off to the Twilight Forest, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to find an Enderman there, because I did remember seeing one teleport around at night. And I'm just going to have to be patient. And I should see... Oh, there's one right there. There is one. I just saw him. Where'd you go? Oh, I was out of range, and it probably despawned. What is this black thing over here? Ah, uh, oil. But I did see the face a second ago, so... I am pretty sure that if I stay patient that I'm gonna be able to get an Enderman. And hopefully we'll drop an Ender Pearl. Yeah, that's just taken way too long. I have not been able to even get to an Enderman. So we're going to try a different route, and I need to upgrade my meshes anyway. So we're going to do that right now. And then we're going to try the sifting version, even though the the odds are astronomical to get that with... um, What was it? Half a percent with the iron mesh. Then there is one percent and half a percent to get a second one. And then with Emerald, it's still not much better. But why don't we give it a shot? Why not? So I'm just going to set up four manuals here right now. And I'm going to waste a bunch of... Um, glowstone. That, that's the word I'm looking for here. But I'm going to do four. Oh, I got to crush it first. Yes, of course. Um... Give me one or two of those. I don't think I have a hammer anymore, so I just need to make one. Which was the whole point of automating everything, right? But for right now, we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned way. Up until last episode, I did it this way, so it doesn't really count as old-fashioned. But... Okay, now we got crushed end stone. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, um, I'm going to tear this down, and I guess we'll get one more end stone here. There we go. So, because this doesn't stay here, right? And I'm going to clean this up again. Oh my god, that was lucky. I am so happy I did this on camera because nobody would believe this. But we got it. And, yeah, guys, see, I'm, I'm just putting everything everywhere because... I don't have any more room, and let's put this back, and I'm going to go ahead and make this router. Now, unfortunately, I cannot get this to work the way I want it, so my idea was, okay, I wanted to add lava, water, witch water distribution and stuff, right? But we were already full on channels. Now, I might be able to consolidate some of the things, but... I, I have to see, so I, I like it to be, you know, every channel does something, but we can add multiple jobs to a channel. Um, it's just, then you just need to start filtering, right? But, so I still get this message here, too many channels on router. It took me forever to figure out. Now, these things right here, the routing connectors, can I turn them back? I can, just back into a green connector. I might just hold on to them. Um, you only need, if you connect multiple routers, so between router and router. Um, but this here works, okay? So the way we need to do it is you need to turn on... Well, it doesn't work, but I got it to connect. You need to give it a channel name. So this one is called... This connector is called L for left. This connector is called R for right. And the channel here is items R and items L, right? And I set it to extract. 
stack right and over here i set it to insert that's it but if i put this in here anything it doesn't do it okay um now in the router here it then shows you these two local channels one from the left and one from the right and you need to tie it to the other side's channel right so item l is tied to item r and item r is tied to item l that's how i understand this right but it still tells you and there's nothing i can do in here besides these two fields there's not like as soon as i put it down anywhere else too many channels like i i don't know maybe this just isn't working in 118 yet i don't understand it but it did remember it. So again, I don't know why. It's supposed to pull this out and put it in here. So I can't them I can't get them to talk at all. And I don't know if this is actually something that would help me, you know, because like I said, all I wanted is pretty much to just seek all the connectors in both networks that I'm gonna use. That was the whole idea behind this. I didn't want to do anything else but that. So either I'm going to um fall back to just using the fluid pipes to handle the, all the fluids um, and only use it like we had it before, right? But anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys this. Maybe you have an idea, but I cannot get this router to work at all. So maybe it's just broken. I might still use both of the controllers just so I can keep this cleaner over here. I'm not going to redo this. There's too many connectors. This is bananas, okay? There's no reason to do this. But I could still possibly split this up into two networks. So this is how I can do it. Okay, I got it now. So we're going to put one connector on the top and one on the bottom. And then we're going to come with another connector here. And another connector there. And this way I can put the controllers directly next to the power cell. Right? Set this to out and put the other controller also there. So they're both always charged first. And I can access the power for the rest of the network. So on this one, for example, I would go to there and then I would have the cable, oops. You have the cable go down into the ground. And here it's already in the ground, right? And this one like goes there and this one goes there. And then the nice thing is I can cover these up with that right so we won't be able to see this okay so i had an idea here i made uh dark oak barrels this time i got rid of the regular oak ones because i don't like them but um as i said i do want to have a full liquid system so i think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the sink there and let me go ahead and grab some connectors and then the cables are figured out afterwards on how to hide them. So here's going to be our lava hookup and here's going to be our water hookup. And then, um, I think, let's center it on this. What we're going to do here. And that, I'm, I'm really hoping this is going to work. Um, let's do it like this. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. I have to get one more piece of dirt so this can spread to those rows. And I'm pretty sure my cilia spreads, doesn't it? I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, let's go ahead and put this here and hopefully it will spread to them. And then we're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, and the reason is I'm going to make witch water ahead of time. My cilia spread around the cable, so I think we're going to get the witch water started now. So let's go ahead and make this first channel fluid, and we're going to call this water. Or maybe, okay. And we're going to extract from this one. And yeah, these are these are all D6. I don't have the other ones hooked up yet. So that should now start filling this with water. There we go. And I I need to this is particle heavy there. I need to call these things here. 
which water just so in the future because i'm gonna have these two other ones here next to it and it might be confusing otherwise and there's nothing wrong i'm a programmer at heart so okay so now that is done already and then we are going to have another one this one is called water yes so this one is gonna called well, there's going to be two. Yeah, that's... Oh, my God. I'm going to need so many channels for this. Which... Water, right? Are you... Are you... Is there a first W? Hello? Okay. Okay, and then this... Are going, we're going to extract... What is going on? Why is my game so sluggish? Like I noticed earlier again when I was editing that there was a lot of stuttering. I have nothing running. Not the recording software in the game. No Chrome. Not even my editing software. Nothing. And this is which water. So we're going to insert into that. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. There's six buckets. Oh, I, mean, you, I guess you can see it very slightly down here if there wasn't a million particles going on. And we already have 12 buckets. This is actually really fast. I'm glad. I'm not going to worry about the slime blocks for now. Um, because honestly, how many do I need? And if I do, I was just thinking, I just come here. And boom, I got six slime blocks. That's, that is a lot of slime balls. 54, done. That's 54 sticky pistons. And you know, and if even if I need to wait, they're already back. So I think I'm, I'm not going to worry about that, but we are going to automate soul sand and clay, of course. And this we are going to handle it differently than XNet, because again, I want to keep this kind of only for fluids. And we're going to have to disconnect all of these and set them to pulling out. So whatever we're going to process comes out. And I hope that we can pull it out in the top. Now, this first one is going to get a compacting drawer because that's going to be clay. And I want to be able to just pull out clay balls. This is going to be obsidian. Sorry. This is going to be soul sand. This is going to be obsidian. And this is whatever I produce like. Let's say I want to get more end stone or something like that, right? And then on the top for this one, we're not going to do anything because we're going to use the other XNet to automatically put dust into this one to get the clay, sand into this one to get soul sand, and this one here we need to do by hand. So this one is going to be disconnected here. And then this one here, I need to put something on here. Um, so let me just do this. One, two. And what goes in here again? Nothing. Water. Yes. But this one are only going to be down. And again, these we're not going to use yet. Because... They are going to be on the other accent, but this is going to be the clay connector and this is going to be the soul sand connect, not stand, sand connector. Okay, so that means I just need one something back here like, yes, where are my trap doors right there? Let's get two of those and then do I have a bucket anywhere? No, because this one we can already kick in. Um, there we go. This one we can get started, so we are going to get unlimited. And then I just need to put this one here, and we can fold them both up so it looks nicer here. That's fine. And then I should be able to just place it right there. What happened, Bubba? Oh! 
Okay, it doesn't even show the lava anymore. Huh. Okay. Well, unlimited obsidian. So that's cool already. And then, like I said, the other ones are there. And I still need to get um, a... Let's keep this the same. Let's make it another wood. Come here. Let's make it another drawer. And then just so we can get some more ender pearls, we are going to go ahead and get a stack of you. And put this up here. Set this to pull out. And now I can just take this. Put it in there. There we go. So we got... This is so annoying, guys. <laughs> like, they should not be spawned on anything but natural occurring blocks. Gravel, stone, and whatever. But free leather. Here we go. Llama. So it's sucking down the lava pretty good right now, but that's to be expected, right? Because we also have the glowstone thing going. But I still would like to downgrade that drawer. I, I don't see any reason to keep more than 64 stacks of, of obsidian, guys. Um, let's see what happens if I have 114 right now. Now it shows 114 of 64. So let me put 50 back in here. And now I can put... Oh... It's going to put it into these. No, because it's not set to... Ext oh, it remembered it. That that was disconnected. That's cool. So now it's going to continue on D64. Done. And let's see. Now that this is running... Yeah, I'm just not making lava fast enough to keep up with that. Oh, my goodness. I, I gave you a chance, noob. Okay. I think I got the rest somewhat figured out. There's the four hammers, the four sieves, the two compactors. And right now I'm setting up the IC2 stuff. So because these geothermal generators are going to be powered with the lava, right? So that's on that fluid network. And yes, I just want to cover this up and see if it gives off light. Because I do not know. I don't think it does. F7. But I don't see anything being able to spawn here. So that's good. Maybe it does give off light. I have no idea. And then this time we're just going to put the macerators right against them. Yeah, they can't spawn here. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do here with the light. Um, I wonder... Let's see if this is possible. Uh, not the... Not you. That's a... Uh, you because I'm gonna put something on top of it I just get real fussy when it's not symmetrical guys I'm sorry and we're gonna put this barrel right there just so it is symmetrical to the room it it, it would bug me and here we, I have all the things that I needed to set up my filters so I'm I'm just gonna leave that here and then yeah, it looks like the barrel lets light through. It doesn't count as a full block, so that's okay. Um, and then on these, I can just put the connectors on the top. And then cover this up somehow again, right? Okay, so the hammers go directly into these barrels. And this one here is cool. When you put something on top, this hopper appears. This is going to be the manual hammer, right? So, for example, let's just take one out and I'll put this in. Seriously? I figured that when the hopper comes up, but I guess not. Okay, no problem. I did have these here and let me get up there. Put you. And put you. Now you better work. Okay, and then of course once this has power, it's gonna actually sieve it, and I put the uh, hammer it. Sorry, 
the meshes are in these and i put this time sticks and everything even in the one for the cobble and i'm still not sure yet how i'm gonna get the cobble from there to over here or if i'm just gonna put a cobble gen directly underneath this because it's an inventory i just make the tier one i think i'm gonna do that yes so then it pushes into these so that means we're gonna need a connector here here and here now this one here i was thinking is because i'm gonna use this one as the custom one instead of hooking that up to xnet we are just gonna come over like this and push in yes yes that works and it might look good and we're gonna disconnect this here of course so we pull out of that and then that goes into here and then from there i need to come to no i'm gonna just leave it there that was the plan yes because right now i don't have it automated the end stone or the nether rack or anything right so i'm not gonna do much of it so i'm just gonna put it in here and so that that's our manual one right here yes and then i just compact the platinum or whatever and put it in a macerator and from there it can then be pulled out and the smelting doesn't have any filters good and that's the last thing i need to do then the compactors and then i think the smelter is going to be here and then it's a pretty neat room all nicely organized so i'm going to go ahead and set up the connectors now and then program the xnet just like we did last time and then in the end yes i forgot to say that we are going to come from probably underneath here so let me put my connector and then it all goes down into the other room and that i have prepared like this and i i am not gonna pump in from the bottom guys because in the past i've had a lot of problems with um with storage drawers that if you don't push in from the front that it, it but it's it's okay i i can live with this and i just mimic this close this off and i'm gonna leave the nipple there so i can still click on the controller myself and i'm just gonna close this off and you guys get the idea so i'm gonna go ahead and set up the rest uh, before I show you guys the rest, I just wanted to give you an explanation of why the episode was delayed one day, and that was after that last cut, I felt really bad, and I went to bed, and I had a lot of pain, and then in the morning when I got up, I actually drove myself to the emergency room. I'm okay, it was not the heart, which was the most important, I had brutal, brutal chest pain, like right underneath my sternum. And they're not sure what it is, but apparently it is most likely something with acid reflux or whatever. Even though I had no heartburn, I had no gas, really nothing. So I'm not sure, um, but I'm okay. I feel much better. I did more sleeping when I got back from the hospital. And now um, I've been preparing a bunch of things, of course, and finish up this episode. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up because I really wanted to stay on my daily upload, but it was just not possible. I was... I. It was a scary night. Anyways, lots of tweaking. Um, over there, you guys see diamond um, cobblestone. So I finished those quests as well. Cobblestone generator, I should say. Because I put a diamond upgrade into this one. And it was really a fine-tuning this whole time for like two hours. Um, I was just paying it, watching and so on. And then hammering a lot of sand and dust myself to keep up, to get a little bit of a surplus, okay? But it was just too slow because I wanted this to, I wanted everything to be a little bit faster and then I ran out of power. I needed to add more windmills, but now we are staying steady. We are staying full. So that is good, even though you guys see it goes down and then back up, down and back up. It's because every time this thing here is done, it takes, uh, this thing right there, it takes um 16 times 2560 rf um and it, and it takes this and so on when you watch it boom do you see that it doesn't use it per tick it uses when it finishes um but yeah i just wanted this to be faster now finally the gravel is full 
So if I don't actually make anything, it doesn't use any power. I upgraded these to three, this to two. I upgraded the manuals to three and three. And these over here did the same, three, two, and two. If I go to three and three on this, I will run out of sand and dust because I need to keep in mind that I'll have this over here as well. So if I turn these on, I got to make sure I somewhat keep up. I took out the downgrade upgrade in this one on the obsidian and just put one of these upgrades that we got into here. The basic pipe upgrade so I can set it to only redstone when on. Um, so if I turn this on now, you guys see the obsidian goes up. So I can just decide how many I want. And these two right here, I made the redstone proxy from Xnet and hooked it up to levers. So only if I turn this on will it now make soul sand. And as you guys can see here, I have 40 compressed blocks now. That's a lot of dust. Yeah, a lot of dust I used. And I needed to stop this somehow, but I didn't want to do a downgrade because I did want to have, you know, as much as I want on demand if I decide this. I... Now, now there's one thing I need to keep remembering, I keep forgetting, is like, you can't put the soul sand in here because it doesn't need to be hammered, right, the soul sand. So you got to put the soul sand back into here, and then it goes directly into the sieve and gets outputted. Now, this was that one stack of endstone that I put through here, that we did together. Okay, so I got two ender pearls, five cores, plants, and platinum pieces. And then I also noticed because of these emerald meshes now that we got a bunch of other stuff. I had stuff sitting in here, right? That wasn't getting processed. That was raw uranite, fluix dust. Um, what are these things called here? Prismarine crystals. That's it, yes. And you guys also see there is void upgrades on every one of them. And this one here I misclicked. Uh, what? Oh, this down here in the corner. I gotta get my tool here real quick so I can fix that. I thought I did that. Is if you if if there's nothing in it and you right click it. Um so unlock, remove, lock. Okay. So everything here is a void upgrade because now I have endless obsidian, right? So that was easy peasy. And the other thing was oh yes, these right here, the arcane crystals. So those are new. The Fluix Dust, the Raw Uranite, and the Prismarine Crystals. Yes. Yes, those are all new. And this one here was full. Um, I had a bunch of this dust sitting in the barrel right there. The What is this? The uh, Skystone Dust, right? And that's when I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm at the point that I need to start voiding things. And I don't see any reason to put any copper upgrades or anything yet. Who cares? Am I really going to need more than 2,000 of this? I, I don't think so. So... Um, I'm just going to let this run. So, yes. And then this thing here is I'm going to have to put something here because it keeps randomly spitting out XP. It just lays on the ground here. So when I run by, it, um, I just suck it up. But I'm also like if I'm AFK or whatever and then I have a bunch of XP here despawn, I don't want to lose that, right? That's why I have 45 levels now. So I'm going to have to make some kind of an XP absorber here or something eventually. Um, and then the other thing was then the macerators fell behind. So then I made these overclock upgrades, which is just a bunch of tin, the LV cables and electronic circuit. And this right here, the fluid cell, you just make the empty cell, this thing right there with four tin and you just right click the sink. And that's how you make those. So that's super easy to make as well. So now everything is running. I'm very happy about this. Um, there's XP right there. You guys just saw me suck it up. Oh yes. And I needed to put speed upgrades in these. Because you guys see how much stuff I'm getting now? And it only did one stack at a time. So some of them had like 40, 50 in them already, right? Because it never got to it. But now it does eight stacks at a time, which is overkill. I can probably go with one less, but who cares? <laughs> We're just going to leave it. Okay. And then I moved the chests over here and the two workbenches. And all the mechanism and all these machines that we had over here. And I made two more that I know we're going to need. The Osmium Compressor. And I made the Combiner because I saw some recipes that we might use this in the future, right? Um, so those are the only two. And otherwise, I just put these down here just to hide a little bit. And underneath here, I'm probably going to have some extraction eventually. And then on top, we're going to have the Applied Energistics, the Auto Crafting stuff, right? And here... I now added an oxygen tank, and because I want to 
collect the hydrogen. And I'm going to show you guys for what in a second. Let me leave this here. And then the last thing I did is over here, I set up the smeltery and I actually made a part of the wall. You can use that because I'm using, you know, seared stone. I did make this thing right here, the seared chute to put in because I didn't want to go directly in the controller. I wanted to see the controller and we have tons of rows now, right? And that's how it's set up. Instead of the hoppers, I used the pipes to be a little bit more lag friendly and I can turn this off because I made a bunch of... Um, I can take these with me too. Uh, bronze that I needed for... I just wanted to have bronze because of the mech stuff that we're going to make here in a second. Because we are going to end on a high note. Well, I don't know if you can call it like that or not. But we are going to make the free runners. Okay, it's time for some armor. And we're going to make the jetpack. And then we are going to use this... Um, is this for the free runners? Yes. The armored free runners, because I want to have some protection when I wear them. And we're going to make the armored jetpack. Um, is it down here? Yes. There we go. And now I think they need energy and this needs gas. So, if I am not mistaken, I put this in here. Yes, that's going to fill with power. And here we're going to put this. And it's going to take a minute. Holy moly, is this slow in charging. And that's why I made this, these tanks. And I actually made the advanced one. Just so I can store. Because I remember them being quite hungry. They need a lot. So I'm going to let this charge. And while we wait for that. I'm going to get. Wait a second. Do I have arrows? 11. That's not a lot. So I can't really use the bow yet. We're gonna have to get into a mob farm, but I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna worry about it because I'm just gonna fly away if there's baddies. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. Really, a little bit of grass, and they still spawned. Wow. All right, let's get our Nether portal open. All right, let's try out the jetpack. Switch it to hover, which is gonna make it nice and easy to build. It's starting to come together. I like our little island. And we got so much room left. Very good. And then I should not take any damage. Because of the free runners. And it cost about 36. 30. Whatever. It cost 36 of that. Whatever that um, unit is. On RF. I really did not need to bring the wrench. But it's fine. All right, let's see what the nether looks like. I didn't even bring any blocks, but we got a jetpack. Set it to regular. I'm not a fan that I see this. Um. Yeah, so much for vein mining. Um, nether rack. I did not expect this to be a sky block. I thought this was going to be a full nether. Wow. Okay. Let's go to hover, and I believe east-west is the easiest way to find. Am I falling? No, this is just so weird because I can't really tell anything. But let me see if I can find a fortress or something. And I can get some blaze rods so I can... I forgot a... Oh, there is one of the Lenny the Dark. How you doing? Super. Oh my god, is that a lot of mobs. That is insane. But I guess because there's nothing around. Yeah, dodge and weave. Ow. Okay, no. No, you're not gonna get me. Okay. Let's go. Really? Get underground. Get underground. Run. Find safety somewhere. Eat. Really? That's what I needed. Bow shooting wither skeletons. But it didn't wither me. So that's okay. Oh my god. I am so nervous right now. Turn this back to regular. 
Oh my lord. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm just hiding in the corner here for a second to get some health back. Come on, heal. Only three stakes left. I just wanted to... Are you kidding me? Oh, man. That is like the worst. Um... Hmm. This is a weird fortress. Like... Wow. Something angry. Cool. I'm not gonna get... Holy moly! Wait, where's the underground part of this fortress? Does not have any? Okay. Yeah, I'm out! <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about this today. This is bananas. All right. Okay. We saw the nether. We'll never go back there again. No, I'm kidding. We will. But oh my goodness. That is crazy. I'm definitely going to need some ranged weapons. I, I need to get really, really strong for this. Um, there is no doubt in my mind. And these picks were for nothing because there is no nether rack. I wonder what the end is going to look like. Um, we'll, we'll see eventually. But I think that is it for today. Um, yeah. I want to get this uh, edited and out to you guys so you see it tomorrow morning. And I don't think I forgot anything else. Um, all the machines I explained, everything is set up. There's more XP laying around. If you look at the numbers here, this is pretty bananas here. I mean, we're doing really good. I have 2,300 iron now. That is awesome. Diamonds, 169. Emeralds, 184. And I used a bunch of diamonds already so yeah we're doing good on materials but that's what i wanted i don't want to worry about materials um at the rest of this playthrough um because i want to automate i want to do i want to do the expensive stuff right anyways guys that is it that's enough rambling and sorry it took a day longer but i hope you guys understand that my health came first and i'll catch you guys in the next one okay Ooh, i look fancy look at that thanks so much for watching take care Stay safe. And my arch nemesis is back behind me. I don't believe it. Take care. Bye-bye. Get over here. I'm going to kill you so hard. Stay out.